What's going on, guys? It's Josh again with Project Torture. We're jumping back into Blender for a fourth modeling tutorial for the Unreal Engine 4. Don't be scared. We're about to do big things. This is going to be a quick tutorial. You guys probably aren't going to have to, like, you know, you, know, you may not learn exactly too much, but we worked with modifiers once, and we'll jump back in. We're going to work with displacement modifiers and how you use them, or at least how I use them. It's probably wrong, but I enjoy it. This is going to be a high poly model, so get ready. Remember, tab to pick between edit and object mode. We need edit mode. And then remember, A, to deselect or select all. We need to make sure everything's selected. Let's get started. Press W, subdivide smooth. Let's do that again. W, subdivide smooth. Two times, we got a ball. We're gonna jump over here and go to our modifiers tab, little wrench. Click add modifier, subdivision surface, bam. Now let's jump back into object mode so we can see what's going on here. It's going to, every time we crank this number up, it's subdividing, just like we were doing earlier. Just, we're gonna do it a little differently. Crank it up to five if your computer can handle it. It might be getting kind of frame ratey right now, but you, you, you can do this, don't be scared. I said that earlier. So we're gonna go on, we need to add a second modifier and it's gonna be a displacement modifier, but we can't do that yet. We need a texture, I'm gonna explain that. So if you click here, it's the textures tab. Now I'm pretty sure it usually doesn't work unless you're in edit mode. Now let's go over here. There it is, it's empty. Let's create one, a texture. We're gonna name it clouds. You've probably, I've probably talked about this in my recent tutorials, but you know, like Photoshop has like different alpha maps and things like that. Well, this has it too, like this noise here. Clouds, this is a really popular one. We're just gonna go ahead and use that one. We're finished here, go back to the modifiers. Add a modifier, go to displacement, or displace, I'm so sorry. Bam, see, it's asking for, go back into object mode so you can see what's going on here. It's asking for a texture. You can get a new one, but guess what? We made one, clouds. If you click it, we're done. <clears throat> Just playing, but seriously, let's uh, tank down the strength here because as you can tell, it's really, really, really displacing our uh, ball. So we'll go to 0 0.06. Now, as you can tell, it's not really doing much, and that's kind of what we want. It's kind of like a rock or maybe like a wood, just depending. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a second displacement modifier. Okay, so watch. We're going to add a modifier, displace. And as you can tell, all it's got is down here at the bottom. Remember, this is the one we worked with already. We go down here, it does not have a texture. I'm going to set this to 0.9. I'm going to just get rid of that. It says to 0.9. And there we go. That's kind of the look we're going for. It's kind of got a, a, a rocky look to it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press tab and go back into edit mode. And see, we still have only the faces that we separated ourselves. This is what I'm using to my advantage. I'm going to deselect all. I'll press an A, go to faces, and select these four. Holding shift. You know what I'm talking about. Don't be scared. I'm not going to say it anymore. We're going to press G. We've been here. And Z, so we can grab it and drop it on the Z axis. We're going to bring it down pretty far. Kind of like, kind of like, kind of like about there. And then we're going to press tab, and bam. Now we've got this kind of rocky wooden bowl looking thing. You can go into the entire image here. You have it like this, and you can play with it. Just size on the Z maybe, if you're like, eh, it's too big. You can set it up to be kind of like this. And you kind of got yourself a little bowl here. It's it's you know it's easy to play with. You could go back in here to the to the to the edit mode and select these and maybe like size them out a little if you really wanted to, and then go back in and play with it and just keep toying with it until you're happy with it. But basically, that's how you can use displacement modifiers to give your object like a really rigid look, a really scaly look, wooden, stone, some sort of word that is 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 more popular than nothing. Okay, so guys, thanks for watching. Just a real quick modeling tutorial. I hope you learned something. I will see you guys in a few days. I think we're posting another battle test tomorrow, and um, I will um, be back in the Unreal Engine 4 for the next video. I think we're doing another request video next time. But thanks for watching please subscribe to the uh facebook or the youtube channel and please like the facebook page and i will see you guys soon